politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I do stand to support the motion and to say that God created man and woman for a purpose. He created the animals all paired. He did not create and asked man to be in charge and take care together with Eve, to be in charge and take care of this universe. It is very unfortunate, Right Honorable Speaker, that the people who brought religion to this country and told us about Jesus Christ and how we should live and even left in our penal code, criminalizing the homosexuality in this country, today have turned around and are trying to create or, you know, tell our people that it is normal to live and get married to a fellow man or a woman getting married to a fellow woman. Right, Honorable Speaker, we need to stand as Ugandans and condemn this act and we are here, Right Honorable Speaker, to protect our children. When this country was colonized by the British, they actually left a law with us on homosexuality. In fact, the Penocode Act that the colonizers left in this country banned homosexuality, criminalized homosexuality. What we are trying to do is to look at the present circumstances and situations where there is now recruitment, promotion, and funding. So we want to look at this colonial law and have it in tandem with the current circumstances and situations. It is on that background, right on speaker, Thank that you. I be beseech colleagues to join me in ensuring that we have a new law that addresses that cancer. When you look at the Quran, Al Haraf, Surah Al Haraf 7, 8 to 81, it says homosexuality it is an aram, it is an act of aram, totally forbidden. And also in the Bible, we have the Quran here, even also in the Bible, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed because of the political and religious negligence of the people of the time. Right Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, Uganda belongs to God. And our motto is very clear for God and my country. We need to be true and honest to our motto and our, uh, and our profession. And my fear is by 2040, because of the increase in homosexuality, we shall be having a population of men and women. Men and women will be putting on pampas. Right, Honorable Speaker? Madam Speaker, we passed a law here. We are not going to be doing something new. That government there of NRM, connived with some people, they went to court and nullified it. They are now, all of them are quiet. Do you have evidence to that effect? I have evidence. Uh -uh. I have evidence. Uh -uh -uh -uh. Honorable Semujo, let's not start making a presumption. Yeah, all I am asking, Madam Speaker, since the whole government is here, from Prime Minister to Attorney General, can they tell us why they are not supporting this? But Prime Minister stood up. The Prime Minister stood up. She supported. The Prime Minister supported the motion. Let Honorable, Let Honorable Speaker and the colleagues, I know my brother, he has to talk about uh, the Prime Minister because that's how he's seen he's clamoring for recognition. <laughs> oh, oh, Honorable Sarah. And therefore, we must also make it an offense for those who are promoting this among us, our children today in schools. I want to call upon the government to stand firm and not be tempted because of money that may be thrown around. We can actually live, Right Honorable Speaker, within our means. So Right Honorable Speaker, let us all stand up to protect the vulnerable children. And I want to ask the police, Right Honorable Speaker, the NGO board and all those concerned that even with the existing law, those who are sodomizing children are actually not being taken, they are not being tried in the courts of law. They are actually being protected, Right Honorable Speaker. So Thank Right you. Honorable Speaker, I support the motion and we shall stand firm. As much as we ask government to stand firm, not to get the financial rewards, I also ask you members of parliament, stand firm, don't go for financial rewards. Don't allow to be bribed by these people in the name of selling your cultures. I have already communicated, I have members here who go soliciting for money from, from accounting officers. I am going to discipline members. I will name an Hashem, deceased from the money for homosexuality. They will come running to you, members of parliament. But remember your voice of the voiceless. You're speaking for the people outside there who cannot speak for this.